hello and welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. My name is Dr. Catherine Constant and I am the author of the books Lady Wisdom Speaks and Lady Wisdom Gives a Party. Well, I am so happy to be here with you today because today is August 8th. Yes, this is the 8th day in August. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to August Blessings. And this is a beautiful morning. Welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. And I'm so glad to come before you this day. Yeah, this is the day that the Lord has made. We rejoice and we are glad in it. Today is August 8th. And the 8th number, the number 8 is that of new beginnings. So we have a double blessing today because it's 8-8. Eight, eight. Yes, August 8th. And the Lord wants us to know that the blessing is, is that we can trust in the Lord. So, therefore, we can lead courageously. The number of new beginnings. And we have a double eight. Eight, eight. So this is the day in which something new and wonderful is going to happen and begin for you. And that is why we must trust in the Lord. So the blessing for us today is that we can trust in the Lord, that we don't have to lean on our own understanding, but in all of our ways acknowledge Him and He will direct our path. Trust in the Lord. No matter what comes our way, we can lead courageously. We don't have to fear because the Lord is our confidence. And He backs it up with Scripture. The Word of the Lord speaks to us and backs it up with Scripture. And the Scripture says, we can trust in the confidence of God's faithfulness to us. In 2 Kings 18, there was a king called Hezekiah, and Hezekiah trusted in and relied confidently on the Lord. And we can do the same like Hezekiah, because with Hezekiah there were the enemies of the Lord that had come up against the children of Israel. And they said that they were going to destroy them and that um, that God was not going to defend them, but that he was going to put them um, in their, under their rule. And uh, Hezekiah went into the temple and prayed, and he told God of what was happening. And the Lord said, don't worry. Mm -mm. He thinks that he is going to um, defy me and um, talk about me and say that I am not trustworthy. And um, it ended up that he was destroyed by his own sons in his own temple, the temple of, the God, of his own God, right? In the temple of his own God. So his own God couldn't even defend him. And he was killed by the sword, just as was prophesied, hallelujah, to Hezekiah. So the Lord is with us and we can trust in the Lord. And he's not just a God of the past, but he is a God of the present. And we can put our confidence in him. Every time we wake up in the morning, a brand new blessing we see, a br brand new acknowledgement of God's loyalty to us. And the fact that when we trust him, he is true to his word. He is dependable. He is a God that we can lean on. And uh, you know, um, I love the book of Proverbs. And there's this verse in the book of Proverbs that Lady Wisdom tells us. And this is what she says. Proverbs 3, 5. She says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart 
and do not lean on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord. That is the blessing for today. The ability to trust God and to lean on Him. That is what strengthens us and helps us. And in Proverbs 22, 17, 18, and 19, it says, Listen to this wise advice. Follow it closely, for it will do you good, and you can pass it on to others. And you know what that is? It is to trust in the Lord. When we trust in the Lord, then we don't have to lean to what other people say, but we can lean on God. And what He says really matters. That's what matters because He is the one who gives us the dream. He is the one who is helping us in our life and in our life decisions. So when we trust in Him, He works out everything. And no matter what you do is not a mistake, but actually something to help propel you into your next level of success. In Proverbs, Proverbs 3, 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge Him and He will make straight your paths. And that's a wonderful promise that God has made to us that we do not have to lean on our own understanding and our own way of thinking but that we can lean on Him and His way of thinking and being and doing. And then also in Isaiah 26 3 it says keep Him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because He trusts in you and that's what God promises to do for us to keep us in perfect peace he provides rest for our souls so that even though things may look a certain way isn't that beautiful? we do not have to succumb to fear and doubt but that we can rest in the knowledge that God is with us in Romans 8.28, it says, We know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to His purpose. And it's amazing. I was listening to Oprah, and um, she was on a video, and I was listening to her story, and she was saying, I don't look at anything as a mistake. There's nothing, there are no mistakes in her life. It's just an opportunity for her to learn. And I thought of myself, I said, that's straight out of the Bible. That God makes all things work out for our benefit if we trust in Him. Yeah, and that's where this verse comes in. It says, Romans 8.28, let me read it again for you. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to on YouTube and it featured Oprah Winfrey and this is the verse that she said helped her in her success and this is it is actually from Proverbs I'm going to read it to you Proverbs 11:28. those who trust in their riches will fall but the righteous will rise and thrive like a green leaf and when she said that it just sparked in me such joy to know that when we trust in the Lord that we are going to be successful because no matter how much riches you have, how much money or earthly wealth that you have, if Christ is not in it, it's not going to last. But you can have all of that. You can have riches. You can have wealth. 
You can have all of these things with God as we trust in the Lord. So it is important for us to just relax and hear what he has to say. Meditate on him and his word and let that word become a part of who we are and when we do that, when we believe the word and trust his word, then we're going to be successful. So whatever we do, we can rest in the knowledge and the fact that God is for us, that we can trust in the Lord. So the blessing for today is that we can trust in the Lord. We can walk in the courage and, and the knowledge and the fact that God is for us. And if God is for us, who can be against us? We can rest in the confidence of God's faithfulness to us. And we can rest in the knowledge to know that He loves us and He believes in us and He has called us to do His work and to do His bidding. And if that's the case, then He's going to take good care of us and He's not going to let us fall. People who lived and led courageously. And one of the most important stories that we have here is about Peter walking on water. Peter was brave. He decided that he was going to get out of that boat and he was going to trust God. The other 12 disciples, they stayed on the boat, but only one, only Peter had the courage to step out of the boat. And we too need to have the courage to trust God and to step out of the boat because this is the time for expansion. This is the time for growth. And God has great things in store for us, but we won't know about it if we don't step out of the boat and be courageous. And when it comes to the truly courageous and the faithful things, we need to know that God will be with us. We can trust in the Lord, that God is trustworthy. And like Peter, who was willing to do the thing that no one else was willing to do, we too can have the courage. We can trust the Lord. And we can step out of the boat and know that God will be with us. Hallelujah. Well, if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. What are you trusting the Lord for? What are you leaning on Him for? How is He helping you? And how are you allowing Him to fulfill His purpose in your life and to fulfill the dream and the calling that He has as specifically designed just for you? And how is that blessing others? Because our life is not our own, but our life is given to us for service, to serve others, and to make the world a better place. Well, as I said, if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Come on back to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. Lady Wisdom says that you are wonderful, that you are beautiful, and that you are God's gift to the world. So go on out there and shine, and let the world know that Jesus Christ is Lord. And see you next time on Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. Bye!
next level. 